<laughs> Can you tell the difference between this plant and this one? One is a harmless weed and the other might ruin your camping trip. Poisonous plants are everywhere, but don't worry, learning the six basic types might help keep you out of trouble. Let's head back to the studio and find out what they are, how to spot them, and where they're typically found. First up, poison ivy. We see this the most while camping. They have pointed leaves, they grow in groups of three, they're green in the summer, and then they turn red in the fall. They're commonly found near trails or as vine on trees and rocks. They can be found all across North America, except for the desert. And a good rule of thumb, leaves of three, let it be. Next up is common and climbing nightshade. These are dark green and have oval leaves up to four inches long. Common nightshade berries turn from green to black, and climbing nightshade berries turn from green to red. They're commonly found in partial shade in woodlands and along streams. The berries and leaves are highly toxic, especially if they're unripened. And these babies can be found all across North America. Next up is poison oak. These are wavy green oak-like leaves, and they also come in groups of three, just like poison ivy. The stems have a fuzzy texture and they're commonly found as a shrub in the forest, but they can also grow as a vine. And like poison ivy, they can be found all across North America, except in the desert. Maybe I'll just stay in the desert. Next on the list is stinging nettle. Stinging nettle. <laughs> These are green lance-shaped leaves with serrated edges. They have tall, sharply angled stems with fun little fuzzy stinging hairs. They're commonly found in moist open areas like pastures and roadsides. These two can be found across North America, but again, not in the desert. Fifth on the list is water hemlock. These are usually two to five feet tall with reddish purple stems and they have serrated leaves as well as little clusters of tiny white flowers. They're commonly found in wet areas like streams, marshes, and ditches. They're similar looking to wild carrot, but extremely poisonous to eat. And once again, all across North America, except for the desert. And last on the list is poison sumac. These are identified by seeing double rows of upward facing oblong leaves with a point. Leaves turn from bright orange to green and red. And this horrible thing grows as a sparse shrub or tree. You'll need to look out for it in wet soils like marshes and swamps. And if you're in the West, you're safe. These are found all across the Eastern half of the United States and Canada. Now you're better equipped to avoid the six most common types of annoying poisonous plants. Any additions to the list, be sure to share the knowledge. And if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.